Hi everyone, my name is Sam and I'm a health coach here at Parsley Health and today we are in the beautiful Parsley Health kitchen and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious immune boosting soup. This is perfect if you're looking for all of those properties, especially this time of year in the winter months. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to heat a pot with a little bit of olive oil. So this pot is already hot and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil into here and just let that get hot. So when this is heated up, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a little bit of onion. So you can use red or white onion and you're gonna add this into the pot and let it heat up until the onions are translucent. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this up frequently until the onions start to become a little bit translucent. While the onions are cooking up, what I can do is I can add some of the celery and the carrots into this as well. The soup is very similar to like kind of like a chicken soup, but it's gonna be more of a plant-based version because we're gonna be using chickpeas. And it has the same kind of concept with the celery, the onions, the garlic, um, very immune boosting. So carrots are in, I'm gonna add the celery. And stir this up again really good and let those flavors kind of marry together. Once the onions are starting to become a little bit translucent, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some of the garlic. This is going in. I can already smell the aromas just filling up the kitchen right now. It smells amazing. So this is gonna saute for a minute or so. Really bringing those flavors together. And another thing that I like to do is I like to add the spices in as these are kind of marrying together because it really does bring out a lot of those wonderful spices and the aromas and the spices and activates them. So I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. And you could just be generous with this. I mean, if you like a little bit more of like more spice, you can add more, but a little bit goes a long way. Um, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the pepper. I'll add a little bit more towards the end too, but again, the heat really wakes up these spices. And one thing I wanna do too is I wanna make sure that I'm stirring this frequently because I don't want the spices to stick to the oil base as it's starting to heat up. All right, awesome. I wanna eat this already and it's not even done yet. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my broth. So you can use bone broth, you could use mineral broth, you can use a chicken-based broth, whatever you guys prefer. Um, personally, bone broth is an amazing option because it is rich in proline and glycine, which is an amazing source of amino acids that actually converts to antioxidants in the body. Um, so an amazing option to use. Mineral broth is gonna be rich in a lot of different vitamins and minerals that could help boost your immune system as well. So this is gonna go in here. Okay, and you can actually add water too if you're like at your house and you have all these ingredients and you don't actually have the broth because a lot of these um, ingredients that are already in the pot are gonna make their own broth on its own. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna cover this with a lid and let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Why this is simmering, you guys can go fold the laundry, you could go do anything around the house and just let this be for about 10 to 15 minutes and when you come back, those vegetables are gonna be more soft and wilted down and we could add the remaining ingredients. So it looks like this has been simmering for about 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it. I like to keep the lid on and not check it in between because it disrupts the cooking process a little bit. So I'm gonna open it up and check it, and it looks like it's just about done. It smells fantastic. Um, so I'm just stirring it to just double check, and it looks like a lot of those vegetables have softened up, which is perfect, and that's what we're looking for, especially the steam coming up because that's gonna be really important when we add the next ingredients. So I'm gonna add that bay leaf into here too, just to give a little bit more flavor into um, the broth, and then I'm gonna add some kale. I'm choosing to use dinosaur kale in this recipe because it, dinosaur kale is part of the cruciferous family and it is amazing for supporting the liver and detoxification and supporting the immune function. So this is gonna go right in and it's just gonna wilt right into the broth. I add this at the last, um, the last second because I wanna keep a lot of those nutrients in the kale. If this is added alongside of the carrots and the onions and the celery, it can cook for longer periods of time and lose some of that awesome nutrient content. So this is gonna go in towards the end. The next thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add the chickpeas. So I'm using chickpeas as the protein source of this soup. Um, if you prefer, you can use chicken or something along those lines, but for this recipe specifically, we're going more plant-based and we're using the chickpeas. Amazing source of fiber and also really amazing for the immune system. So this is gonna go into the soup. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. 
And I like to be really generous with the, the pink Himalayan salt. Okay, so that's gonna go in, and then the pepper is gonna go in next. Added a little bit in the beginning, but gonna add a little bit more to taste. The next thing I'm gonna add is some lemon juice. So I like to add this at the end too, to really bring out a lot of those flavors towards the end of the recipe. Lemon is super detoxifying for the liver as well, and also amazing for the immune system. If you guys get your hands on a little bit of the lemon zest, you can add that in too, because that also supports liver detoxification. Um, so lemon juice going in. And last but not least, turmeric. Turmeric is an amazing anti-inflammatory. It's an amazing for the immune system, high in antioxidants, amazing for the joints. What does turmeric not do? Literally, it's good for everything. So this is gonna go in last too. And again, I'm adding this in at the last point because I wanna keep a lot of those antioxidants and I don't want the heat to damage that. So that's going in last. I'm gonna stir it up and then put the lid on one more time just so all these flavors can kind of mix together and the kale can wilt down. Um, make sure if you guys are using turmeric in any recipe, you do use black pepper. Black pepper helps to activate the curcumin in the turmeric, so it's very important to combine those two together. So gonna give this a good stir. And then put the lid on one last time, and this is gonna sit for about five minutes. Just let the steam kind of bring all those flavors together, and you have a delicious immune-boosting soup that we just made together in about 15 minutes, um, minus the prep time. Prep time takes about five, but really simple, really easy, immune-boosting soup that you can enjoy all year round, especially this time in the winter.